Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a brand new video on the Professor's channel. It's been a while since I put up a new video, but I decided to make a new video for the 2019 Valve updates for CSGO. The Danger Zone updates really messed up my FPS, and I've got some tweaks and tricks to boost up your FPS close to what it was before the update. Before we dive into all that, I would just like to point out that I still haven't hit the 1000 subscribers limit for YouTube, so if you could please subscribe to my channel and support me and motivate me into making more videos for you guys. Also, if you haven't checked out the micro lag and stutter fix, make sure to do so. It's proven to be quite useful and a lot of people found it helpful into fixing their CSGO. For this video, we will do some steps in order to boost your FPS. The first step is to verify the integrity of game cache. This is really important, especially when Counter-Strike is acting weird in some way, it's always nice to check if you have all files necessary to run the game or if some files are corrupted. If so, Counter-Strike will download these new fresh files. It's really simple to verify the integrity of your game cache. Right click Counter-Strike, hit properties, go to local files, hit verify integrity of game cache and the process will automatically start. This might take a while, depending on if you have Counter-Strike on an SSD or if you have it on a regular hard drive. Alright, so Steam has successfully validated all my game files, which means that I have no missing or corrupted files. In case you haven't done this in a while, you might see one or two files that were being downloaded. That's perfectly fine. It means that you have some files that were somehow tampered with or were missing in the process. Now that's done, close this screen and go to your Windows sound settings. From the bottom bar, tick the speaker icon and hit sounds. Go to playback and select your default audio device. Right click, hit properties, go to enhancements and make sure that you have disabled all enhancements. Then go to advanced and make sure that your sound quality is on 16 bits. After that hit apply, hit ok and we will be ready for the next step. The next step is to tweak your power plan in windows. Hit the windows icon and start typing power and in settings you will see choose a power plan. Hit choose a power plan. Um, I have high performance already enabled, you should also have it if it's not visible then hit show additional power plans and it will probably be listed over here. After you've done that then close this screen and we will be on to the next step. The next step is CSGO launch options. And why I'm mentioning this is that a lot of YouTubers would, will tell you to put all random stuff in your launch options and I can tell you you can remove all that. Just keep in no vid, hit ok and close your screen. That's all you basically need in there. Uh, the rest is all rubbish, make sure you just remove that. It definitely doesn't help you reach higher FPS. This has been benchmarked and tested. They really do not matter at all. This next step is only important if you have a Nvidia GPU. Uh, I'm not sure how this works for AMD cards, but for Nvidia GPUs, just hit right click, go to Nvidia control panel, wait for it to boot up. Once this is booted up, go to adjust image settings with preview and hit use my preference emphasizing performance. If your slider is dragged to quality, make sure you drag it back all the way to performance. So yeah, to performance, okay? Hit apply, and once it's applied, go to manage 3D settings, and now pause the video in order to copy all the settings that you see here. After you've paused the video, then I'll slide a bit down, and you can pause it again. After you've applied these settings, close the screen and start Counter-Strike. So after you've verified your game cache, it's completely normal to see Microsoft setting up DirectX for Windows. This is completely normal and is part of the verification of the game files. Alright, now that's done, boot up Counter-Strike. The first thing I would like to point out is, you can see that I'm running Counter-Strike in a windowed mode. Never run Counter-Strike windowed because it will cause FPS and performance issues. The only reason I have it windowed right now is for the sake of this video. From this screen, hit the settings tab and go to game settings. From game settings, find the HUD background alpha and make sure you slide this all the way down. What this does is, it adds some transparency to the font. I've noticed that this causes some FPS drops and some micro stutter. It's unnecessary and you can really live without it. After you've done that, set your mini scoreboard style to just show the player count. What this does is it will just show you the player count instead of showing you all the different images that uh, are from the players that are still alive. The other stuff you see here is personal preference and uh, you can change that to your liking. After that's done, go to audio settings and this is probably the most important part of this tutorial. Make sure you put advanced audio 3D processing to know. What this does is it has some virtual surround to Counter-Strike which you really don't need. It makes Counter-Strike sound awful and eat up CPU power. This will definitely boost up your FPS if you set it to no. If that's done, then go to video settings and make sure that you copy these video settings here. 
I choose performance over the looks of Counter-Strike. So if you also do that, then make sure that you have these graphic settings in your Counter-Strike. Here's my resolution and aspect ratio. These are all personal preference. Just make sure that you set your display mode to full screen and never have it windowed. All right, with completing this last step, we've completed the tutorial into boosting your FPS. Now go ahead and play some games and let me know if your performance in Counter-Strike has increased if you have more fps no more micro lags just let me know in the comments down below if you have anyone that you know who's witnessing some fps drops micro lags and performance issues make sure you point them to this tutorial also just check out my other videos if you'd like to do so and please don't forget to subscribe i'm almost there the thousand subscribers mark so please if you want subscribe to this video thank you for watching and enjoy your day Bye bye